In a division problem, the dividend tells us how much we have. The divisor tells us how we want to group or share it. What happens in the division problem if we use one as a divisor? Well, let's start with four items. We want to put those into one group. This means four is our dividend and one is our divisor. So we're solving four divided by one. If I want to put my four items into one group, that means everything gets moved into that one group. So four divided by one gives me four. Well, let's see what happens if we have a larger dividend. What if I have 12 items? So 12 would be my dividend and I still want to put them in one group. So one is my divisor. That means I'm solving 12 divided by one. Well, if I want to arrange my 12 items into one group, again, that means everything is going to have to go into that one group. So 12 divided by one gives me 12. If we divide by one enough times, we notice there's a pattern developing. Anytime we divide a number by one, the solution to that problem or the quotient is always going to be the same as our dividend. Anytime a number is divided by one, the quotient comes out to be itself.